Pepper says the weather is warming up and you're going to be a little hot in some of these clothes. It's been a cold spring so far in the Northeast, but this week coming up, we're getting hotter and in the 80s. And these heavy sweaters are no good. We are going to have to switch out the winter clothes with the summer ones. Now I keep my off-season clothes down here in the basement. And luckily, we recently opened up the area where we store them. I have these two tubs that are on this shelf. And Hubby is going to bring them up into the bedroom for me. And thanks to camera shy hubby, the tubs are up in the bedroom and I can start switching out the winter clothes and start putting the summer ones in. Now I'm going to start with this tub right here and inside of it is all of my Old Navy swing dresses because honestly, that's all I wear in the summertime. I do have shorts, but because I only have maybe like three pair, they stay with the leggings in the drawer all year round. I love dresses. That is what I wear all summer long. And to get started, I normally take all of my dresses and lay them out on the bed. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking, and you're probably thinking, wow, that is a lot of work. You should declutter more clothes so that you can fit all four seasons into your closet and your drawers. Well, you are correct, but I'm also someone who's recovering in hoarding disorder and have gone from a level four to a level two. And right now, I still need to include this process of switching of the seasons. It's where I'm at today and it's where I need to honor myself. And by honoring my emotions, it's going to keep me on the track to successfully decluttering more. And hey, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to show you how many clothes we decluttered in the beginning of the year. It was so much. And right now I'm just pulling some of the t-shirts and the tank tops out because I also hang these in the closet too. And now the tub is nice and empty. The second tub is only half full because it has like bathing suits and stuff in there, but I need two tubs because the winter clothes are bulky and they'll take up both tubs when I pack everything away. So I just want to take a moment and kind of share my heart with all of you as we're doing this because <laughs> I'm about to jump into a very sensitive subject, but I, I want to make sure that I'm sharing it with everybody because I know I'm not the only one who's going through this and I would love to have like open, positive conversations about this. So this past winter, I, I gained some weight. It did, it just happened, you know. Um, it's very easy to do when all you wear is elastic leggings and, and hoodies. <laughs> you don't kind of realize those slow pounds that kind of grow on you over the winter time. I had started emotionally eating. I emotionally ate a lot in the winter time, which is easier to do, but I almost kind of felt like I replaced hoarding with emotional eating and being a workaholic. Now that's a separate video. We're focusing on the emotional eating part. And what I wanted to share with you guys was that I had noticed the emotional eating was kind of satisfying the stress and the anxiety just as the hoarding had done before, right? Now I started letting go. What I started finding out was that I was feeling that same attachment now to food in the sense that it's like, I need to eat this food because I'm feeling stressed and I'm feeling anxious and I feel like I could have a panic attack. And now I'm going to eat the food because I'm going to self soothe myself because there's comfort. I'm having this feeling of comfort and there's no limit to it. It's the same thing. There's no limit. I'm just going to eat and eat and eat, hoard and hoard and hoard into that feeling of scare and fear disappear. So I, I wanted to look into it more and I wanted to share with all my YouTube family. I'm wondering how much of a correlation there is from the hoarding to eating disorders to, well, probably addictions. I, it's probably all falling into this like addictive personality kind of like category, but I don't know because I'm not a doctor. It's something I have to research, but I just want to bring it to light. 
Now, moving forward back to the clothes, this is an Old Navy swing dress, and it's a little snugger than it was last year <laughs> because it was a lot looser. But you know what? It's okay. It still fits. And honestly, all I have to do is lose about 10 pounds to feel good back into my clothes. And we're addressing it now before it gets out of control, before I start binge eating really bad unhealthy food to the point where now I might be creating diseases in my body. So that's why we're doing it now and it's going to be done in a positive, healthy way. Now we're gonna focus back on the closet and I'm going to take the empty seasonal totes, right? And take all the winter clothes and put it away in the tub so that we can hang our summer clothes up. And as I do this, I'm going to go into more detail of how we're going to take this weight loss series and put a healthy spin on it. My intention is to bring it to light just like I did with my hoarding disorder. So our YouTube family can have these honest conversations about where they are in their journeys, if they struggle with this, if they did struggle with this, how did they turn it around? It's just to bring us closer. And it brings us closer because we're sharing these vulnerable moments and we're growing together. Just like how we're decluttering together, now we can make healthier choices together too. And I know the reason why I've recovered so much in my hoarding disorder is because of all of you, all of you cheering me on, all of you believing in me to change and us sharing our stories together. And look, I even had somebody create a hoarder's heart t-shirt for me. Like that is like amazing because she believed that I could do it. And she believed that I could help people in their journeys too. And we can do the same thing in no matter what we're struggling in. Now, I just wanted to show you this really quick. I normally leave a couple of long sleeves in the summertime because, you know, sometimes there's some cold days still in spring. And sometimes when we're going from summer to fall, you will have a drop in the temperature and you will need something long sleeved right away. And even by leaving a couple of fall winter stuff up here, I still have plenty of hangers to hang up the rest of my summer swing dresses. And as I hang up the rest of my summer clothes, I also want to share that as I start to write, as I start to film this weight loss journey, it's going to have a very positive spin on it. And what I mean is positive self affirmations, I love my body. I love how it feels. I feed it healthy fruits and vegetables so that I can feel my best throughout the day for my children, for my family, for my YouTube family. We're going to make it a safe space where people can share their stories, where we can cheer each other on, and we can encourage each other to eat healthy and exercise too. And we're going to continue using the same theme as progress, not perfection, because honestly, it works in all areas of our lives. And now the spring summer clothes are hanging in the closet, the winter clothes are packed away and ready to go back into the basement. And I'm happy to say that we're letting go of some clothes in this episode too. I wasn't planning on it at first, but as I was going through all the clothes, I could tell that it was time for these pieces to go too. And now the closet is all ready with all of my summer outfits. And I have to admit, the summer clothes are my favorite clothes. And maybe one day we can condense all seasons into this closet. But for now, for today, where we are in our journey, I'll keep doing this. I'm going to be present in this moment because I'm learning to be content with the clothes that I have. Because in 2022, I'm doing a no spend on my clothes. I'm not buying any clothes. So now you can see why I was a little concerned that my clothes were a little tight. I don't want to feel pressured to buy new clothes, but at the same time, I'm not going to pressure my weight loss journey either. I'm going to be present in the moment that I'm in now honor the emotions that I am feeling and set new goals for myself. And my hope and my prayer is that this video encouraged you 
to be in the present moment too, to look at all of our accomplishments and see how far we've came. We're doing amazing.